Christmas spirit shit, and so yeah, we're gonna fucking not. roll right into hey, this. Guys. You know what I'm saying? Holy right shit. Into uh, shit. What up, though? What up, though? Nice sweater, bro. Dang it, bro. That is super dope, actually, bro. Oh, 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 that's fresh. And I don't oh, even yeah. drink. I don't even it's drink. dope, bro. bro hey, you can put orange juice and all kinds of shit in there. Hell yeah. Time. You should definitely Ignore. get the straw on that shit. Any I holiday do. party you go to, you have people drinking that shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a straw up in my shit. Bro, Hi, this shit you. looks extra I'm Bill Clinton like though. Look at them jewels on his hold hand, up, bro. Okay, Stand yeah. up on this shit. Damn. Stand up on this shit. I know, I bro. I didn't know the jewels. You came out and started on that motherfucker. Run the, run the jewels, bro. Fucking and he got the wedding band. Hell yeah, bro. Shit. That is fucking. That Bill is some motherfucking. That, that is Bill Clinton. That is a wedding band. Bill Clinton. Look at this is wedding band right there. Like, yo, in his other hand, he's flossing with some rubies and shit, bro. Hell yeah, man. Yo, look at those. Look at his eyes, bro. Look at his eyes. You know he's oh, fucked up. Santa Yo, bro. Santa Santa wow, Santa Billy. Santa wow, Billy. <laughs> wow, Billy Santa Claus. Hell yeah, man. Matt Murderous, Jeff Fry, <laughs> also fucking Santa, on, actual man. Santa Claus. Yeah. Repping the fucking Jester Man Whoa. Santa hat and shit. Hell yeah. Because like I said, man, we're a little fucked up off the Christmas spirit or mm -hmm. something at least. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here. Fucked up off a lot. Jolly. Uh, for a year and weekly Wicked Web Show. Fucking A, man. Whoa. This year went by fast. Oh. It did, dude. I think we said it every year, though. Yeah, dude, it kind of does. You know but then, saying? like, when you start thinking about it, you're like, oh, that was in the beginning of the year? Like, some of the shit that we're going to talk about seems like it was longer ago. Yeah. You know what I'm it's saying? Like, 35 years right. in one case. 35 you know years. You know, it took 35 years for so, us to get our special guest here today. Yeah, it took 35 we'll years for our special guest right. here. So that shows you our context of time when it comes to uh, our year-end episode here. But it, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? In this episode, man, we're going to share some fucking memories, you know? We have a super yeah, special yeah. guest in the fucking house that is going to be alive. And he's part of, like, at least some of my favorite memories of the year. Yeah, you hell know yeah. what I'm saying? For sure. Um, we're going to talk about some of the shit that we got going on you know uh, as you know we've been fucking with carnival spirits super heavy this year yeah. um i believe this show is going to be on carnival spirits so, you know we're crunching on all kinds of shit right now because we are pushing right on the holiday uh as of today we got what five days till before christmas five fucking five days. oh five days. roast beef sandwiches hell yeah uh so, uh, Four naked hoes, you will probably see this on yeah. or around Christmas. So, man, whatever fucking holiday you celebrate around this time of year, we fucking hope that you are in good spirits and all that other good you shit. Have a very you know, very like, good happy good Merry Kwanzaa, yeah. Hanukkah, whatever. Christmas you know, Hanukkah. That's what Thank it is. You. I couldn't happy think Christmas of the fucking name. Christmas, Christmas Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Yuletide, Yule yeah, yeah, yeah. Yuletide Yule greetings and all, all that, that good, good shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Merry uh, uh, throughout the whole year, we uh, we did some cool <laughs> shit. We were able to pump out a bunch of new content, Fuck including it, Fresh Flights. Fresh Flights yeah. finally made his debut. Hell yeah. Dude, like, yeah. Uh, by the time this episode pl uh, plays, we've done four episodes of Fresh oh. Flights. And that's, like, oh. really cool because, you know, we've been busting Jiggy's balls for yeah, a while. Right? Yeah, Because oh, yeah. yeah. it seems like our context of time, you know, our concept on time in this whole yeah. episode, it seems I mean, like this was so long ago. It, it, was, but it was only a year ago that Jiggy really right. thought of the project. Right. Uh, and just put it off, you know. What I'm saying he thought of the name. When he thought of the name, it was like we have to start doing well, that. Yeah, was it, instant gold. It started. Man. It started, it started off. Name. It started off as perfect pints. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You just then, sample up one tall, one beer. tall beer. But then it was like, nah, man. We need to. We need to keep this shit fucking crazy. We'll go to, especially out by us where we're at, dude. We got, like you said, breweries. Brewery, yeah. We're, we're in the Michigan brewery. City. Trail, really we're on the trail us. right now. Me and Bobby Blaze been hit up the trail. We went to uh, Michigan City. We're in the South Bend. And that was the last thing I told him. Like, we went, we did a, a Lake County. We did a Lake County Brewery. We did a LaPorte County Brewery. Yeah. And we did a St. Joe Brewery yeah. all in Indiana. So now we got to hit up a Lake County. Or yeah, Porter County. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, Porter, Porter County. County Brewery. Here yeah, so, so uh, I mean, by the time this episode plays, we've done four episodes of Fresh Lights. Four, uh, the fourth one going down in Michigan City. If you have not seen it by now, go check that shit out. Uh, I feel... 
Dude, the only thing that we did fuck up on this video is that I forgot to put that music into it. Sorry. So you could, the background's kind of loud. But, but there's some interesting things in the background. Exactly. Is yeah, that so the one with the vagina, the vagina lady? Yes. Oh, Dude, yeah. the whole conversation behind us was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, I mean, we might as well just talk about it because you probably, if not, then just go back and watch Fresh Lights. Yes. Uh, their whole, the, these people came in behind us. Jiggy Fresh des describes one of the guys coming in. Oh, man. the guy who was with him and the clothes that he was wearing hey, and shit. Dude. He was dressed pretty, he was yeah. flossing. He was flossing, bro. Like, <laughs> but man, they were telling some crazy stunned. shit. They were talking about some bar that I got, like the suit, like the story that I told about getting my homies plugged in in Chicago. They talked about Smart Bar or whatever. Yeah. I cut the part out, though, because it was like in a, in a long spot. But, uh, but man, they're talking about all kinds of crazy shit, and then it gets to the Fuck one spot man. where, just loud and clear, you can hear, like, but um, her vagina's good. Wow. Bro, and and you I can even see the look on my face. Like, I'm, I'm like this, and she says something. Oh, like, fucking... It stopped you. Bro, but, like, like, these people guy. were sitting mm -hmm. together. It was a guy and his wife or whatever, and, and then like two some, ladies across from them. Some other two ladies, and then... But then behind them... They had, like, eight kids behind them. I don't know, were like, eight, but at least four. At, at, well, at the oldest, like... 15, 16. Possibly, yeah. And they're back there talking, like, and there was young kids, though, too. Oh, there was yeah. a bunch of young kids, but, at the, like, the oldest kid of the group was maybe yeah, 15, 16. Yeah, oh, yeah. About and they were talking yeah. about being fucked up at Smart Bar, fucking... Vaginas. Uh, oh, they're like, hey, you know, I know, you're, I know you guys are staying with us, talking to the other ladies, I guess, maybe that was with them, and they were like, uh... But, you know, you guys can stay in that room if you want to hear us have sex all night. And we're like, like, yeah. I, like, bro, it was like, seriously, what? like, a fucking... Double taking shit? Like, dude, I could not what? control it, bro. Yeah. I, like, literally was like, I, like, I, like, tried, bro. I broke my neck to like, not look. And then I, and then I just came <laughs> around and I was like, like bro, no. like, when they said it, like, I'm sampling beers here. And I'm like, and Bobby Blaze was going like this. He was looking behind us. Like, yeah. Fuck yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're fucking looking back. <laughs> but what I looked some wild yeah. shit. Like, I, could why, not, I could not stop myself from looking back. I tried like, my Why are you talking stuff. about this shit? Like, yeah. there's kids behind you. Like, here, and yeah, what, I'm telling you, in the video, you can hear them. And it's, it's kind of loud. People are talking in this place. Yeah. And this is the first time that we didn't have music playing yeah. in the background. That one video, we have a copyright claim on the one video. Which one? Uh, from Evil Check. Check. Yeah, Ooh. I didn't see as far as the other one, but it's not a bad one. But uh, that's because the music. See, that's why I wanted to drop some music in this one. So, but either way, I could pull, I could pull it down and put it a out. Fresh lights so. piece, just so we can play it in back. Yeah, yeah, for real. Uh, but hey, man, the new fresh lights is good. I'm just happy that it was some, a project that we put out this year. Uh, for those of who it's are watching right now on Twitch, just beyond this camera, that's dope as fuck. It's something new that we also yeah. tried this year. Um, the last part of the year, doing shit. And when we do the basic Leak Weekly web show here and then if you watch it on our YouTube you get all the fucking you get extra all the, freshness you, get all you know what I'm saying over there uh, this you get it here till we cut off on Instagram yeah. just for you guys who are watching right here right here we're live on Instagram we're live on Twitch so once this we're just trying to up, flex on that we're trying to right? flex bro right now we're just trying to flex and really like uh, you know our our production changed this year. You guys got to see us when we actually like did our. We wrapped up that end of that season shit. We yeah. took a couple time off and we came back with a bunch of dope content. And everyone's really been fucking with that content, especially oh, yeah. like in this uh, in the latter half of this year. You know what I'm saying? We went to after the gathering, before we the gathering. A lot of our videos took off. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we appreciate everybody who fucks with us. Oh, yeah, uh, just recently, Jiggy Fresh and I. Uh, and we're talking back and forth with the, the Bender Boys. If you guys fuck with the Bender Boys at all. Dude, for real. Hey, straight up. Like, they were uh, on our live. Or they weren't on our live, but uh, we got Sierra and Nevada. You know what I'm saying? Got some one hitter. But anyway, uh, Bender Boys, man, they showed us a lot of love. They they hit us up on the DMs. Uh, oh, yeah, invited us over to watch their show. They invited us to watch over our show. We but before in we even got to their show, they were, like, hyping us up. They were already hyping us, us up. Me and Bobby Blaze popped up in shit. there, man. And, uh... Mikey Sears, our homeboy, Speak Your Cloud hell podcast. Yeah. Dude, uh, he's, he's been showing us mad love. Yeah, hell fucking, yeah. Dude, this whole, like I said, it seems like a lot longer. So when it everyone seems, says yeah. the year went by quick, it seems like we've been fucking with Speak Your Cloud for two years already. And Mikey, you know what I'm saying? Mikey, three years already. If you're you know, watching like, here, if you're watching here, if you're watching there, yeah. we need us to do a review. Hit us up. Hey, 2020, we're just going to start we're, knocking some we're, shit We're knocking out shit. See, what's crazy is that we, like, our spare time really comes to doing the weekly of the web show. So here we just knocked out that review, which we were, cool, yeah. like, but we didn't do a weekly of yeah. the web show. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We did the review. We did the review. Uh, we've explained it from the very beginning that, you know, our time is kind of limited when we do these things, but when we do them, we fucking do them, and you guys are fucking showing 
showing us love when we do. We but definitely yeah. appreciate. I mean, I mean, the Bender we, Boys, man, we real. We real know the Bender Boys shit. We do yeah. like, like it was. If we got the Bender Boys shit, we're just gonna tell stories. We're just gonna tell stories. Tell some drunken ass stories, bro. Like straight up the rats. No, bro, because they're kind of like us, bro. They just sit back and fucking drink beers and tell stories and shit. The whole thing was like we popped we popped into their 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 live channel with uh. You know, Scotty two Scotty balls, two balls oh, and yeah. fucking, you know, everybody's yeah. popping in, man. Yeah. And but like the love they were showing for us, like dude, like you said before, we even popped in there, they were already talking to me. Yeah, they started hitting oh, up hey, our DM, DM and, and they his, hey, he usually answers all the DMs. You know, on check, Instagram. check this shit out. Hey, we're live right now. We're talking about you guys. We wanted to work with you guys. Blah yeah. blah, blah blah. So we went into the we went into their live thing and you know did it. It, it, it was just dope, over, like yeah. dude. Like like I said earlier on the yeah. live when we were outside to to have that. To get noticed, I mean, it, like we said, it's not about this fame, jug of fame, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. But it, it, it's us hanging, it's three homies hanging, fucking chilling. <laughs> the guys bullshit. like, man, you know, they fucking, they speculate, they drink, they drink beers, beers. <laughs> they do everything <laughs> they we like, do. Yes, so, like, yes, yes that's all we fucking, fucking do. We sit out here, Make we talk shit, we speculate, yeah. We all, we, fucking, work, we all work during the fucking week, so this yeah. week, like, the weekend shit is <laughs> like, hey, we get off Fridays early, or we get off Fridays, you know, earlier than usual, or the Saturdays, like... Hey man, let's link up. Let's yeah, fucking dude. do this. Drink a couple beers. Talk some juggalo shit. Talk some bullshit. Make diamonds. Make like the diamonds. diamonds. And that's what we do, man. It, 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 and man, it's, it's, it's cool. Like when Jiggy, uh, uh, we we and went over like there. Fucking, and, uh, like you're saying, you know, to to kind of like to know that other people are watching our shit, and we know, like, yeah, there's views or whatever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like to know that people are watching our shit, and it's just like it's very humble. Man. That it it's, is that they actually enjoy. That watching they enjoy it. You know what I'm and, saying? And like like Carnival like, Spirits, like Beastmaster yeah. when he hit us up, and then yeah. and then Homeboy from Bender Boys. But yeah. Homeboy, like nah, I know I'm entertaining as fuck, motherfucker. Like I said, Bender Boys hit us up, and then like even Beastmaster said, like, dude, you guys. Your guys' views need to be up more. You guys, we're gonna help you guys, you know. And it's dope. That's that what people, everybody says. So fucking people, like, us up. You it, know what I'm it, saying? It, it, it kind of you know gets us geeked. Like, oh hell yeah, dudes! Are, people are watching <laughs> and wants wants us to fucking. Cause Scotty two balls, and, uh, man. Just like I like fucking, all of his shit. He yeah, does Scott, some dope ass shit. Yeah, I was, yeah. was going to say, bro. Like, like I'm trying. I'm trying to. Like, that's what I said in the very beginning yeah. when we brought this back. I was like, <laughs> bro, I'm trying to get my graphic games like Scotty two balls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Scotty two balls, graphic killing it, bro. Like, right? Some of the shit that he does. But like, it, like some, said, I, I can say genuinely that that motherfucker has really inspired me to right. like learn new shit because I saw how dope some of the shit that he does. So like, we're in the in the group and. They were talking about us, and he was saying, you know, yeah, these cats have been around for a while, you know what I'm saying? And, like, yeah. you know, definitely should have more Dude, views, I, more subscribers. Honestly, I think, man, exactly. love, oh, yeah. that whole fucking segment we were in there on that fucking Bender Boys fucking shit. Yeah. Like I said, with Mikey Sears. Uh, so, obviously, the goal then would be Mikey yeah. to work with Speak You Clout yeah. and Bender Boys. Bender Boys, Carnival January Spirits. of 2020 hey. to kick off the motherfucking year. All through right. 2020, man. Oh, it, it, yeah. Jan- hey. January is supposed to be dump month, and we're supposed to like drop a bunch of content besides the weekly weekly web shows. There, there might not be another weekly weekly web show until my fucking February. Maybe not. My fucking to hype the fucking newly announced Tech Nine Jelly Roll show that's going yeah. down in the yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but that's in May, though. Hey, but either way, what what, Damn, what was the main? We'll hype, we'll hype Suicide Boys hey, that come out we'll February 14th. The, the whole the whole uh, Dominators, the whole yeah, we're Dominator. gonna fucking yeah, we want to we're gonna do a whole Dominator like? series. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we're fucking we're, we're gonna, gonna do a Dominator series. M U J. Let's make the fucking let's make the fucking series, we should make the circuit and let's. Tr- if you have a show and want us to be on it, let us know. And yeah. fucking all January, every weekend, we'll be on somebody's every, show. Yeah. Hey, every... I, I think mean, that's a good idea. A general, we're just going to... Hey, we're going to do a Dominators, 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 yeah, let's fucking All 2020, do Dominators, 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 Dominators,
this is this will be if, if this is a takeover video then this is our third takeover video of the year we did a fucking also the motherfucking shanger lot video for other people and yeah. my fucking the amazing jucko brothers fucking documentary yeah, poster yeah. for that's going in sauced up swag Ooh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. hey did y'all see that poster did, yeah. you guys, did y'all see hey, and i was showing matt murder oh earlier God. that it's signed it's signed to me in the back for doing the segment so that's why I said it's one of a kind. Ooh. Because it, like the guy who did all this shit. Hey, the poster is fucking. Yeah. I want one. Um, and he made he made one for the first batch of people, Tons. and that was content cr- uh, creators, right. and then the first oh. the last people who could buy him, and then he made <laughs> other posters. So, yeah. uh, but hey, man, we're just saying this fire. this year's been super dope, uh, and and like really getting into that, we're gonna go ahead and lead into the motherfucking year end edition of the motherfucking question of the week. Motherfucking Matt Murderous and Lotus Nixon sat down and because it's the end of the year gave us like three or four questions to ask. Hell yeah. I know them, I so I'm gonna it. I'm gonna uh, answer them here shortly. Right now, you guys are gonna check this out in the special fucking question of the week segment. Right, motherfucking here. Yo, it's Matt Murderous and Lotus Nixon. Here with your questions of the week with Team MUJ. Now we have a special holiday segment for you this week. And also this week we are going to be working together with none other than Carnival Spirits. Once again. I know. I man, like them guys. I, like I really like them guys. Shit, for real. I really Shout do. Shout out to them. You guys really need to uh, check out their YouTube channel. And definitely. Definitely subscribe to those motherfuckers. Tell them Team MBJ sent you. Absolutely. Now, let's start off with our questions of the week, Matt Murderous. Now, oh, yeah. what is the first question of the week that you have? What is your favorite album of the year? Ooh. Ooh. Favorite album of the year. Yeah. Man, you know, 2019 was such a big year. You know that Tide Pop thing happened in January? Like, that's how long this year was? So it's really hard to uh, find uh, find an album and pick an album that came out this year. But you know what? I do have to say my favorite album of this year came from none other than Suicide Boys and Travis Barker. Formerly of, or continuously of, Blink-182. But they came out with uh, Live Fast, Die Whenever. It's just a short six-song album. But man, it goes hard. It goes fast. There's so, so, so much I can talk about it. But you know what? That's, that's, That's a whole thing of itself. It really is. And you know what? We might check that out for some of the album list. For the uh, for the review list. Speaking of review list and favorite, mine was uh, "Walk to Wasteland." Ouija Max "Walk to Wasteland," and I Walk know to Wasteland. Ooh-wee. We're gonna be dropping a review here real quick with the homies, Bobby Blaze and Jiggy Fresh. Absolutely. And I really don't want to get into detail because you know that's what the motherfucking reviews for. Absolutely. And Bottom line, Ouija Mac was the shit. He went hard on this album. And that's really all you really need to know. Catch us on our review for Walk to Wasteland. For Walk to Wasteland. All right. Now let's see. We, we got so many more questions. Ooh wee. Yeah. So we, we started yeah. off with our favorite album of the year. Now, do you have a specific song that you have, Matt Murderous? Earlier this year, you know, Tech 9 put out the Cathartic series. Oh, yeah, the you Cathartic know, the series is series. definitely a, uh, yeah, a, a deep theme. one for sure. Multiple parts. Um, they have the videos on YouTube where just each segment of the story, but each thing is also of a, a, a thing of itself as well. Right. And. Just the way how it all comes together, I wholeheartedly right. agree. Yeah, wholeheartedly agree. Pretty well thought out concept, for it, sure. It definitely, you know, definitely was. On top of uh, introducing King Iso as one of their, you know... Members on the know, roster. Absolutely. You know, so that kind of tied up everything. That was pretty dope. Absolutely. 
And to go along with, you know, ISO and everything like that and the Cathartic series, we got to hear the Cathartic series this year live. And as you can tell, I'm just flabbergasted on how it was because seeing it in a music video is one thing, but actually seeing him portray it and seeing his feels come out live yeah. when it's doing it, like, that's that's all. That's a whole, whole, whole big deal. It really is. And to go along with that. That would be, uh, I, that would be one of your favorite memories, I, I, I take it, right? One of my favorite memories of this year. But That's, That is one of our other questions was what, a, what is our, one of our favorite memories. And, of course, a lot of you guys would be like, oh, Gathering. Gathering has... Or you Juggalo know. Day, you know, or something we, like that. But no, we want to hear the we want to hear the nitty gritty details. Like we want to hear every little dirty little deep little thing. Like that, what is your favorite memory of, you know, what event of Gotcha if you have one? Like, you know, oh, you I don't. You heard Lotus don't, Nixon with you know her seeing King Iso live and watching him express all that feeling. But to go along with the the favorite memory and everything, like what is what was your favorite memory of this year? I have so many it's I can't really pinpoint one, you know, from meeting Live or Die Productions. Absolutely. Doing their review, you know, for their C D release and whatnot, meeting them their you know, dope people. I think for you, that was a lot of the big highlights for you this year. Is all yeah, the different you know, people that that we did actually meet this year, because you know, not only did we meet people, but we you know met up with people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, to go along with gathering memories. I mean, we're all sitting there, you know, listening to a show. Bobby and uh, Webmaster Baker are sitting there having their deep talk all into thought in some other fucking realm and shit and they're in their own little talking bubble oh, and then man. these guys and then were... inverse liquid assassin and it was like oh yeah. shit it was like liquid assassins like right over there and he's just like what up bobby like shaking bobby and shit and bobby's like oh shit it's dope as shit like you just saw it's bobby's dope. mind just go it just it gone right. Right. gone but at that same time, though, at that same time, that was when Jiggy went back to go get some uh, stuff from the tent. And to go along with my absolute favorite memory of this, of oh, this year. Oh, please do tell. Oh, Lord. Do tell. My absolute favorite memory this year has to be when Jiggy went to go and get supplies back at HQ... He comes back not even five minutes later, walking from HQ to where we were while we were watching main stage. And he goes, hey guys, there's some dude really, really fucked up in the canopy, like in, in the tent area. And he's sitting there and he's about to... Drink your 151. He had it cracked and he's drinking a bunch of stuff. And he said it's okay because woo, Alaska. <laughs> um, now, my. now, pretty, shout out to Alaska, Alaskan juggalo man. homie. I hope you're okay. I hope you made it back to Alaska. He made it back to Alaska. And uh, I got Alaska on Facebook now. He definitely made it safely back to Alaska. You got. You got you got Alaska on Facebook. I got Alaska on Motherfucker, Facebook. Motherfucker, you add me, Alaska. <laughs> you heard? Anywho's. Anywho's. So we hear that this Alaskan homie is sitting there about to crack my 151 that I was not going to open until the next day for Tech Nine specifically, right? We all get that. So instantaneously, I see this look in Matt Murderous's eye. And it's this, just this eyes go black, who the fuck dares enters my castle, who dares type look. And he goes to storm off back towards HQ. And me being me, I'm about to like 
full on panic attack. I'm like, what is going on? What is about to happen? And I look at Bobby and Bobby's like, well, I'm not going to go after him because I'll probably beat the dude's ass in the mentality that I'm in right now. So we both look at Webmaster Baker. And Webmaster Baker's like, I got you. And he just immediately follows after Matt Murderous. Longest 10 minutes of my life of you two being gone. And Bobby sitting there calming me down from multiple many panic attack after panic attack after panic attack. No shit. Like, I'm like legit panicking oh God, because I God. think that they're either about to put this dude in a fucking body bag or something <laughs> like that. Like, we all know how it goes down at the gathering when someone invades your shit. So, longest 10 minutes ever of my life. Here comes Matt and Webmaster Baker. And they're laughing. And they're choking around. And they're bullshit and everything. And I just look and I'm like, this motherfucker's laughing. Are you shitting me? I'm like, what, what happened? Oh, everything's okay. No, I asked what happened. I didn't ask if it was okay. What happened? Everything's fine. Oh, it's fine. We just told him, don't touch the 151, and he apologized profusely about it. But I think I put the fear of God in him, and I think he shat his pants. Oh. Well, okay. Is he okay, though? Like, did he... He didn't shit on the cat, right? No, no I don't think he no did. No shit. No shit's been thrown anywhere. Nope. No shit. But He's he just did wander really off. super fucked up. Which was okay, because... Everybody who knows Alaska knows Alaska. Right? He gets fucked so. up. He chills. Then he wakes up. He wanders off. Goes, gets fucked up to the next place. Woo! Alaska. So then, and you, everything's fine. Yes. Everything's peachy at the I gathering. I do remember that, yes. Everything's absolutely peachy, right? And we're like, man. That was fucking wild. And we end up having a huge-ass, awesome-ass time at fucking main stage, right? And then as we're leaving, going back to HQ, we see Alaska sitting there with the medical team. Yeah. And immediately we run up there and we're like, hey, we're just going to let you know now. He told us, he was just at our camp a little bit ago, and this is what he told us he was fucked up on. So if you can't get an answer out of him now, this is what he told us earlier. And the medic looked at us, and he was like, thank you so, so much for that. And he's like, I've been trying to get an answer out of this guy, and he's just, woo, Alaska! He's like, I got that, he's from Alaska, and I think his name's Bob. <laughs> I think his name's Robert, but yeah, close enough. <laughs> but he was alright in the long run. He came back the next day, and he was like, thanks guys, you know, and appreciated yeah. it and shit, and it was awesome. Again, there's a, a plethora of memories for this year. Black Meeting. So, so many. So, you know, so many. Liquid Assassin, Ouija Mac, you know. Chris Calico, King Iso, oh. Stevie Stone. Just so many different memories this so, year. Not to mention, you know, our now close homie, uh, DYI Ninja. Oh, DIY Ninja, Meeting absolutely. Mac, cat, dude. Yeah, James Fiend is definitely, definitely a homie that is going to go down in the ultimate books of history. I will make that so. If it, if no one else will make that so, I will make that so. Because that motherfucker is historical already. But, speaking of the underground and history, we need to resurrect some history. Oh, yeah. I got a question for you, Matt Murderers. What was the most underrated album for you this year? I think we uh, we came down to, uh, for our personal opinions, our homie Liquid Assassin, Tsunami. I'm not saying the the album dope out, you know, you know, shouldn't be underrated at all by any means. But, you know, there's a certain song it's not really a song, it's a skit uh, by the name of Catfish Savage. Oh. And uh, <laughs> I honestly didn't think that that would go 
as far as to getting like a single right you know yeah, and I just think that's fresh as shit. Like, <laughs> that's dope. Right, just having a clip of itself and everything like that, like yeah, just ha- straight it, up like an entity of itself. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I liquid assassins and shit. And, oh you know, man, it really four, was. Four two records and all, all them cats. And being uh, able to celebrate shit, tsunami so. at gathering just wraps up that whole memory, uh, yeah. that Again, whole memory yes. thing. Oh man. So it's kind of like a full circle. You know, a lot of people need to stop sleeping on Liquid Assess for sure and pick up his new album. Because he's about to drop another one here pretty soon. Speaking of sleepy and sleeping on stuff, uh, my pick for the underrated album this year was Two Dope's Gloomy Sunday. Yeah. I believe Two Dope definitely uh, deserves uh, a lot more credit. Yeah. A lot more credit. I'm just saying, Wendy's needs to fucking award the guy with his fucking chicken nugget necklace. Spicy nugs. Right. He deserves that shit. Wendy's, what the fuck? But either way, either way, we see everybody is getting a lot cheerier for the holidays. I know, everybody's all jolly. Lights everywhere. Everywhere's all lighted up and lighted up like a fucking Christmas tree. We ain't got a Christmas tree, but we got lights everywhere. We need to get house. one, a little, little just desktop one. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll have to. We'll have to. Uh, Need for the, I got the, one somewhere that I got, but I gotta find it. It's in stock. Right, stock. You know that reminds me. Stop, stop stockings. Oh. We're gonna be drawing that shit. Sauce so Dog Sonic Summers? Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna be drawing that soon. I'm so excited. I know. Ooh, we got a bunch of names from the Murderous House. We would definitely like to wish you happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever. Yule time. Everybody festivities. jolly. Yeah. From us to you. Absolutely. Merry fucking Christmas, yo. Merry fucking Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas. And those we're out. Fucking questions of the week. Jiggy Fresh doesn't know them. I don't. Uh, I because I gotta get all this content together. All the content. I had to listen to every. 21 minute of this my fucking question of the week so I knew where I'm going to be able to post it in and do all these things you know what I'm saying uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that shit nice little segment they put together with memories and all that stuff of their detailed questions of the motherfucking week when they said questions of the week I was like oh shit and they were, yeah, so it's really uh, I answer them to the best of my motherfucking ability you know what I'm saying um, at least uh, the first was uh you said favorite album, right? You guys, yes. it was favorite album. Favorite right. release. I put yeah. favorite release because I was gonna say, uh, like what you said, uh, Resistance, Walk to the Wasteland. Ooh, hey. But it wasn't an album. It was that's Easy. what he that's what he kept saying. That would be easy. Uh, so I went Heartless. Heartless. Yeah. So you could go you could go ahead whatever yours is. Both EPs. Both EPs, right? Yeah. I mean, we could go Heartless because it's you know it I was mean, the album. It was it was. But resistance was supposed to be. I mean, take. I, I you would, heard I would what say, I went for. Yeah, so. I de- I definitely say those two. Probably. You guys heard that Suicide Boys was it right? Suicide Boys, Correct. Travis Barker's uh, release. I thought that was pretty good too. It was decent. Yeah. It was it, the best it, I would ever. Yeah, I thought it was. But uh, I, I mean, you got you got Fearless the Fred too, right? You know. <gasps> Fearless Bro, Fred was this that shows our concept of time right there. Fearless Fred I'm editing all this out. Hold right. on. I'm editing all this I'm out. Saying. Fearless Come Fred Fury was my favorite album of the year. I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking of. Yeah. Fearless, Fearless Fred, Fred February Fury. is fantastic. Because it was supposed to drop in November of last year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it was supposed to drop so. last year. But... February, because it's even in my shits here, my notes and stuff, bro. Like, Fearless Fred just, Fury was my favorite party. fucking record of the fucking Not year, the world without world a doubt. Shit. The Wicked Motherfucking Clowns came back and they showed who the fuck they were with Fearless Fred Fury. People were talking all this shit. Oh, I wish Mikey Clark would have been on it. No, bitch, this whole shit sounded so fucking good. Did. The message was there, the storytelling was there, fucking ICP motherfucker. Oh, hey. shit. 
Uh, I forgot that shows where we're at on fucking time. I told you, time been 35 minutes. It really wasn't. It really, good. the years really don't go by fast. It's just that the, we're just looking at it afterwards. You know what I'm saying? We've done so much memorable we're, shit just this one fucking year. And don't worry, the saying? review's still coming. It might come in 2020, but it's coming. Fred fucking Fury, favorite yeah. record of the year? I don't know, dude. It might not be yours anymore. You still like Resistance? Don't fucking, don't I'm fall here. under pressure. Hey, I'm not taking nothing against my boy Ouija Mac. No. But Fearless Fred, Fu- hey. But, hey. Let me tell you this. Let's walk to the way Sam was great, yeah. but Fearless Fred Fury was the best Seven. record of the year. You, you just said Heartless too, though. Uh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Because there's another question in here hey. that is the most slept on record hey, Kanye, of the year. Kanye, chill out. And that right? been my I don't mind. care. <laughs> hey, that I'm saying been. Taylor Swift yeah. is uh, I'm just Taylor Swift Fearless you. Fred Fury had the fucking greatest album of the year. All right? So you agree? I said it! Okay. You didn't even <laughs> think about Fred Fury. Right, damn. Yeah. I'm just saying. Woo! See, do not more of a mark. Am I, I fucked but up, But anyway, bro. hey. Yes. Holy shit. I would shit. say top three. Top three? Top three, definitely. Fred is Fred Fury. No one particular order. Don't get me wrong. Fred Fury, yeah, heard, definitely the Resistance, and Heartless. Because yeah. Heartless, the only thing about Heartless was like, we waited so long. To finally get that, that, that LSP finally release. Finally get it in full. To get that LSP get, release. To get that LSP release. all hell the Razor release. was so fucking fire. All hell the Razor was yeah, fire, but yeah. to finally get that LSP release, Razor yeah. fucking EP, album, yeah. whatever. Fuck, and for it to be so fire. Ooh. And like we said, watch if you watch the review, watch the review, you might say we're biased, but... Watch the review, dude. It was fun. No. It was, so, fun, talking. It was fun talking pick about Pick up the it. album. Yeah, it was. So pick up the album. Go pick up the link in this motherfucker Biatch. somewhere. But anyway... Fearless Red Fury, no, like I said, no particular order. Oh, Fearless, Fearless Red, Red Fury, Fury, Resistance, Heartless. Hell yeah. Definitely top three. Hell Definitely yes. top three. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll skip We'll skip to this other one then because I know the second question is going to be a lot longer. Um, then you said the most slept on, right? Yes. Right? That's what it was? Something most like that. slept most on slept. albums? The most, most underrated. 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 Underrated or slept on. I, I agree with you guys on one. I'm going to go ahead and say it, but I'm going to let Jiggy answer this one first so I don't fucking manipulate his views and he doesn't manipulate mine too most much more. Most slept on? <laughs> most slept on or most underrated album of the year, release of the year. L.A.? Yes. Tsunami? That's what, dude, that's across the fucking board. And again, Team MBJ biased as fuck. We're welcome to Liquid hey, Assassin. Tsunami, uh... Tsunami Kung Fu Vampire? On. Kung Fu Vampire. Come Dawn was my second one also. Um, Come Dawn, so good. Come Dawn, better than the Liquid Assassin record. But so we're not... It, it, if I just had to put them in some kind of order, I would probably... But I, I, I love... Yeah. To, I, I, I would record. say definitely LA, super slept on. KFV, definitely super slept on. Gloomy and Sundays. both were fucking fantastic. Gloomy albums. Sundays, you can only say that though because they fucked everybody on Gloomy Sundays. I haven't because, heard Gloomy Sundays yeah, to the day Because still. the way that they were supposed to release Gloomy Sundays yeah, and they didn't, yeah. so they fucked everybody on it. Right. Uh, so yeah, it, just, it yeah. never really got released like it was supposed to get released. And uh, otherwise, like, I agree, I, that's what one of the, uh, what they had said. You guys heard it in the month. I still haven't thing. heard it. I thought, you know, some memorable mentions would be like uh, possibly Flip the Rat. Yeah. Flip, Flip the Rat. Yeah, Flip was dope. I didn't like Flip the Red anywhere near as much as Fred. Oh no, no. it wasn't right. even like it wasn't even like necessarily super good scraps. It was something that they could have done like they could have released that another time. Yeah, you know, didn't have it wasn't a it wasn't a good companion. It should have been everything from like Flip's perspective, it's much more grimy, fucking type shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Much more dark through the fucking you know <coughs> Fred Fury shit. Right. Fred well, Fury shit was to make you time. see like you know, here's. Your options before yeah. you get this, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Or, you know, uh, and whereas Flip the Rat should have been more like festering on corpses. Hell yes! Good ass, yes! Hell yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this on here, but Merry fucking Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Man. Anchor Brewing 2019. Salud. Hell yeah. This is the Christmas episode. This is some beer who we, uh, and one of the local stops over here. This guy always follows I you bet. around the place and talks to you about beers. Uh, this is like the 45th annual of this beer from Anchor Brewing. I've never heard of it before. Let's, uh, try it out here on the Muffin Weekly Week Web Show oh, yeah. year-end. It was good, uh, it was good to hear with you guys. You Not bad, saying? though. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good, man. Nice little oh, lagerish. Oh, that's a Yeah, dude. Feels lagerish. That tastes kind of crazy. Oh, look at that! Wow! That's, that's a Yule log? Yule log. <laughs> it's like that Yule log. Um, so that that the because I knew, this other, I knew the other part of this question of the week was going to be like bigger and it was going to be broader and probably lead to a special guest coming up. 
Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Special guests. We don't do that here. We have. This you time, really they won't be on the phone. They will be here in the Team MUJ motherfucking studios. Like, yeah. What? But before all that, because they're not here. Hold on, hold on. We're, not, we're not getting to that yet. You guys, you guys, I know. There's, 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 there's now two things you guys are waiting for, and you guys are scrolling through this video right now to find out who was the winner. So the sauced up swag is one of them, but here we're going to talk a little bit more, man. Yeah. Um, the second or the main question third? of the third question? Yeah, the third year. Right. The the main question of the questions of the week. Oh yeah. To year end it. New segment here on my fucking team MBJ. we this is the second time, so we wanted to pack it in. You guys can expect mm -hmm. new episodes mm -hmm. or new segments of question of the week and we want you guys to send your questions to us and we'll discuss them here on the Motherfucking Weekly Weekly Web Show. Hell yeah. Um yeah. the main question of the week this time, year end spectacular was what was your favorite? It was a, was a juggalo memory in particular, or just your favorite memory of the year? Favorite memory. Of well, the I year. skipped a lot of uh, memories that I don't want to bore you guys with about my fucking great life outside of this juggalo <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> memory of the fabulous, year. The rich and fabulous life of Bobby Blaze. But um, I have I have quite a few. Good juggalo memories this year. Um, right off the bat. Is juggalo memories? I'm just doing that. I mean, do, what do we want to do other memories this I, year? I, yeah. 500 was great, right? 500 was great. Right. I, went to, I went on the fucking thing. bourbon trail. I, I went to the UP. Like, we had a really fun year. Let's do more juggalo shit because. It's a fucking year. I'm only doing juggalo hey, shit because I don't want to leave anybody out. I, I don't say, want to talk about my family or any of that. Family. So and, yeah, and 2019 was kind of a. Yeah, rough. dude, because it was a little bumpy year for Jiggy. Yeah, but, I hate but anyway, there for you, brother. We're here. I love you. It's, it's all good. Uh, fall so fest was fun, though, right? All these things, you know what I'm saying? We talked about, yeah. there was a lot. There's fall a, fest was We dope. could do a whole mini series of the weekly Week web show where we talked about non juggalo memories this year that were also pretty Almost good. Almost dying. Soon. Yeah. Or was that, that last, was last year? Well, yeah, that was, was, that was last year. Shit, that was, uh, that was last year. That was last year. That was last year. Yeah. Shows you where we're at again on time. Well, we almost died again anyway. This year, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? For what? For what was your favorite juggalo memory? Juggalo memory? Hmm. Nah, dude, I got like seven of them. So okay. I, 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 I know we talked about this prior to recording the show Did about... Uh, damn, bro. No, 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 no. I mean, not, not memories, but oh, okay, okay. leaving out the gathering... Unless specific parts of yes, the gathering. Yes, yes, correct. You know what yes. I'm saying? Like, like yeah, if you're going to say... If you want to say, oh, yeah, the gathering was my favorite thing of the year. We of course, know. that was my favorite thing of the year. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Yeah, specific of moments. The gathering. Yeah. Specific moments, a couple to stick out, was finally... We'll go with the gathering. We'll start off first with the gathering. Cool. I'm not. I'm not gonna say that that's the top, but no, no, no. no. I hear you. Just we got. Just tell me finally got to see Ouija. It was at Sunday the night. Gathering. It was at the gathering, right before uh, ICP, at the at the merch booth. Dude, that's definitely one of my favorite memories on here. It's, it was definitely it's and, uh, in the notes. I it's mean, one of my favorite memories a lot of the notes. shit that went down is still, Ouija shows up in still, a lot of favorite memories of this year. Man. Oh yeah, He's definitely but like made still the year. still not clarified on on what was said at the gathering that day, that night. He's eight. Yeah. Besides, but, besides the shit that he said, but, hey, bro, but just, just, just the, the points he made. I do want to talk about some of that shit, though, off camera, though, because um, the fucking Fury Fest tour, meeting our special guest, finally. Hell Dude, yeah. uh, Fury Fest is definitely the top. I, I, that's definitely one of the tops. And I kind of met a little, you know what I'm saying, but we'll get it. Was that, that was there, too. That was there, too. That's the shit, that bro. That was there, too, but we'll talk about oh, that on... Uh, I yeah, dude, I would have to say Fury Fest, though. Fury also, Fest was dope. Uh, was, was definitely one of my favorite times of the year. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get into that a little bit more because we're going to bring our special guest yeah, out real we'll, soon. We'll, we'll hold that one uh, out. Dude, also, another... Uh, another the home of BK? BK, meeting BK. Yeah. Meeting BK uh, was, a, was a dope. Well, that was like oh, a, yeah, the man. fuck the fuck off motherfucker tour we went and saw it two times. Yes. And uh, dude, during that, the first one we saw in Indianapolis, right. and we took that dope-ass little trip to Indianapolis. Yeah. Went and fucking got the fucking royal treatment in fucking Indy. Yeah. Uh, my sister in law hooked us up, got us this plug at this place. We went to another place and they treated us super good at this other place. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Like everywhere we went, that whole, yeah. this whole shit. Torson. Yeah, to we met we met up and got to actually. Oh, well, because we met Torson before. We met Torson before, yeah, before we met, but yeah. And then we were able to kick Andy. it with Torson there, you know what I'm saying, down in yeah, Indy. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we fucking. Uh, we came back and we saw that tour again, and then when we met like BK and then then oh, too, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, shout out to my fucking BK. Cheers for BK 2019. Hello, hey, BK. Kristen, we got this. Oh, we got this joint going, Kristen. Oh, go ahead. Okay. 
Okay. Thanks, you guys. Go ahead. Cool. Shit. You want to We got to meet BK, who was, ended up being the little brother. Oh, and he ended yeah. up being some of my favorite gathering memories then, too. Yeah. It was motherfucking uh, BK, man. <laughs> fucking... Uh, oh, fucking vibes, bro. The fucking vibes, bro. The, vibes BK, bro. the fucking vibes, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 and uh, BK for sure became Lil Bruv. Okay. That motherfucking gathering of the Juggalos. Oh, yeah. for sure. uh, but I would say that those two dates to start off the year were awesome, yeah. man. We saw uh, Fuck Fury, the Fuck Fury, Off Motherfucker Fury. tour. Oh, yeah. And then Fury... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about gathering because I'm going to come back to Fury Fest. Yeah, we're going to come back to Fury Fest because the special guest of Fury Fest. Gathering of the Juggalos, though, I do got to appreciate every one of you here. Even though we only got to see you for a little while, but shout out to you, man, you guys. Oh, yeah. Like I said it in our Held fucking recap, fucking you guys fucking got us a spot. And you guys held us down that spot for a fucking time when we slept cozy in our motherfucking hotel beds with air conditioning at sixty degrees. Yeah, you motherfucker. Oh, we still never got that shot. Yeah, it's gonna came back at any Not time. We were, we're, any time. Hey, we all had rare room. We were cars. giving golden showers in our hotel. You're golden. giving golden showers. We're R. Kelly in that bitch. Uh, you're gather, giving gather, golden I, showers. I, I, I got a little splash giving. on the leg. Oh, a little splash on the Hey, but look, man. I know we said that saying the gathering of the Juggalos is just like a. You can't That's say a it in general. That's a given. For sure, though. You there need was, to have specific. There were so many moments of the gathering. Uh, Jiggy Fresh being my motherfucking homie of fucking however many years poisoning me and giving me a fucking <laughs> bottle of ice cold motherfucking oh, tequila. tequila. <laughs> hey bro, it's wow. been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. You wow. need to drink some water. I was like, <laughs> you're right dog, you're right. Boop. <laughs> hey, that was the shit man. Even just when we first got to the gathering we got to meet all the motherfucking homies that Shout out to Lindsay Rail because that was her bottle. Yeah, dude, shout out to Lindsay. <laughs> meeting Lindsay this year. Meeting, uh, fucking, uh, finally meeting my fucking, uh, Jackie. Yes. Fathead. That, that definitely, to me, was a super highlight of the game. Oh, yeah. yeah. After all, because you know what? Huh? Do you have a Yeah, I want to for sure. But we've known Jackie for but, eight but the whole, fucking years. The whole thing bro. was. And if never, the whole thing was. Never. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The, whole thing, yeah. the whole thing with, native, just crazy, bro, with the native right? pack, bro, with Jackie is. She was down when we were doing this MJJ shit in 2012, 2011. 2010. 2011, 2011. yeah, yeah. But yeah, again, for that her thing, to still be connected time, with yeah, us, yeah, yeah. and then what after and this, the, and then meet them, bro, and fucking finally and then, meet like, her. At two different head. times, they were like my favorite part of the game. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? twice, bro. We were hanging out and, uh, twice, in, the, in, the, uh, in the spot when they came yeah. and kicked it by us, right. that night when they kicked it by us, but yeah. then the next day, and they started, they, like, we weren't, we the last day of the gathering. Time, the last day of the gathering. We were not gonna go hard. You know what I'm saying? We weren't. And within fucking like ten minutes of me putting my feet on the gathering ground, I was like, "Well, no turning back now." You know what I'm it saying? Was over with. Yeah. And they, at the end of the night, they fueled the fire hey, by native, hooking us up. Hey, to these shout fucking... out to Native Pack for real, bro. Yakima, Kachina, uh, Fathead, you know, much, much, yeah, dude, much, and that's much, much everybody. Hey, yeah. they fucking pulled out. I don't know how in fucking eighty. No, 90 100 degree, degrees. fuck 100 degree weather. They pulled out ice cold shooters from their fucking pockets like it was nothing. <laughs> Off our favorite alcohol? Yeah. Oh, Jack Daniels? That, Jack Daniels, <laughs> fucking Crown Royal. Royal, fucking. That was like really? Fireball. Dude. Like, it's cold? It's you cold. Don't have a fucking, Where? You have no cooler. Oh, bro, that's that native shit, bro. No cooler, no fanny pack, no nothing. fucking backpack. Pulled it out it like he like, pulled it out of his sleeve. Oh. Like, like, like he fucking, buried it. You like Jack Daniels? That's it's like, ice cold Jack Daniels? Ice cold yeah, Jack Daniels. Bro. Like, these shooters weren't some fucking, oh, hey, man, I had these back at the camp. They're warm. I was bringing them to give them out before we leave. No, nah, these motherfuckers were frosty on that plastic outside of that motherfucking bottle. Yo. Like, those, I got frostbite just taking the shooter because my shit was fucking... Those oh shooters, because they were fucking blessed by the native pack, gave us... Well, at least maybe Jiggy, the courage to go wander off again by himself, right? I don't know what happened. So he fucking did. Lindsay Rail comes back, tells oh, us yeah. where Jiggy Fresh is at, and we go find Jiggy Fresh. And Jiggy, it ends up leading to this chain reaction of meeting Ouija Mac. Like, we, not meeting Ouija Mac, meeting up with Ouija Mac meeting in the gallery. And it ended up being like what continues on months later, being this, like, why how Ouija Mac really this year, again, has been a highlight of the motherfucking yeah. year. MVP, um, we hyped him all up last year. His release on Psychopathic, all this other good shit. This Dude's year, though, Ouija Mac has acknowledged the shit. fact that we've hyped him up on all of that shit yeah. and been like, you know, yes. like showed us mad motherfucking love. 
for the love that we showed him at the gathering of the Juggalos. He really kind of like blew our mind. You know what I'm saying? Blue. Uh, blue. Uh, I, you know, see that emoji with the head exploding? Because we've already fucked the, the fuck the fuck off motherfucker okay. tour is really where this whole shit started. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll get in a Fury Fest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the fuck the fuck off uh, motherfucker tour is really where we did, like dropped some shit on us before what? then. Oh, and it just yeah. like accumulated the rest of the year as we went on. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna like. No, we're not. Gonna I'm that motherfucker, bro. Where I don't wanna give up business. If if we fuck around, we fuck around. So we don't gotta go any deeper than no, that. We, don't we just have to say deep. that, like, for real. That was that Ouija Mac ends up being like when I tell the stories of what are some of my favorite Highlights moments of this of year. year. Ouija, Ouija Mac, Mac is in, in the top three. In the, yeah. the top three stories that I have, which would have been like. Uh, no, for, the top four. If, if I was doing top five, it would be fuck the fuck off, uh, motherfucker tour, Fury Fest. Uh, gathering with the weekends. And guess what? Guess who's all there? Ouija Mac. Ouija fucking Mac. Ouija Mac. Hey, and even at Wiggy Weekends, which was super dope, that's another one of the highlights. Cause Ouija Mac. It was, Ma- uh, it was in our hometown time. within, yeah. what, 10 minutes of here, 10, 15 minutes of here. So good, dude. And the only person that was missing was our special and, guest. Yeah, man. our special guest oh, yeah. was missing. Dude, if, if you would have been there, bro, it would have just fucking, here, we're about to bring him in. We're going to catch him. But, but it set it off. Is he ready? I mean, we're going to have to scoot in. You know what was dope? Do we have uh, a chair for him? About the week, week when, about the week I weekend. Can, I can, I can yeah, move out the picture. About the week of weekends, though, it being in hometown. I don't know. At least, if, if anything, grab the bench and I'll get out to the side. Yeah. It being in hometown. We'll get Adler in the middle. Uh, <laughs> it being in hometown and Ouija oh, Man. Yeah, like, sitting in fucking yeah, alleys in that back parking lot. Yeah. Where we always, Dude, where time comfy. after time we sat out there. I have this image because of that. And you know what I'm talking about. I have this image burned in my head that it'll be a cool memory of mine for the rest of my life. Standing in that doorway of the art theater, yeah. looking over at Lake George. That that you know yeah. I'm you so, you got to do that. Yeah, I'm, I, I know what I'm saying. I but even outside there, but I'm just saying like yeah. we had such a cool night that that, oh, yeah. that you understand. My homeboy James Green was there and all this shit. Then yeah, too, hell yeah, James Green. We Green ended up was having nice. just that whole that whole night. Uh, was just the whole day was just fun. Right, but I'm, fun like like so. like your experience a little, little bit different. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying just, just being in the, in that in that spot in that back alley in that back yeah. parking lot. Behind Cagney's and the art theater. Yeah. How many times I've been behind there before, yeah. either drunk puking or drunk walking to my car, or yeah. drunk that time, that time we fucking so smashed my tail light and you pulled all, all over car, my car. Yeah. But to be in that same parking lot, <laughs> with Ouija Mac yeah. fucking chilling. Yeah. In our hometown. In our hometown, bro. Man. Like being, it was dope. That that definitely is a highlight, man. And, uh, definitely. I mean, just the whole shit, dude. Yeah. That that whole tour, like <clears throat> even them coming to. Hobart, Indiana, Hobart, yeah. bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, who would have ever thought we would ever seen ICP? At the art, though. At the art, theater, out here, because we already theater. seen them over here in South Haven or yeah. whatever, but to see hey. them at motherfucking the art theater. And I seen, I seen uh, the Riff Raff Ouija Mag yeah. New Year's show. Yeah. Riff Raff's going to be at the art. They'd be tired yeah. if they went on tour together. Oh, They'd be tired let's if they see, went on tour together. Dude, at least get, let's get, get them out of the uh, two out here. Like, and we, it's, it's been all about Ouija Mac again this year. But I want you so to when I tell my stories, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I want a headline in the Ouija tour. It uh, just... When I when I told these stories, when I started writing down my notes, Ouija Mac appeared again in Everyone's some of my favorite family. scenarios. You know what I'm saying? It is, bro. Uh, but yeah. someone else appeared in some of my favorite stories this year then, too, man. Uh, we went to... Uh, my fucking, we went to... Uh, Fury Fest, and we've we've told you guys this story on the Weekly Wicked Web show. Unfortunately, in that show, I don't think you were there. Me and Matt had to tell the whole recap yeah, of it. You know what I'm saying? With the snuffing, I got all the you know what I'm saying. Everywhere. That's fine. Yeah, we knew. I'll, oh! set, you, I'll set you up for the story. Yeah, send me <clears> so, up for uh, the story, we come back, special guests come on. Here we. Uh, I didn't. I really like. You guys know that most of the time on Instagram, you guys are talking to Jiggy Fresh. You guys aren't talking to me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jiggy Fresh answers a lot yeah, of the questions. Yeah. Jiggy Fresh is kind of the guy who does most of those things. Matt Murders does a lot of stuff on the Facebook or whatever. Yes. Otherwise, like, uh, I try not to answer people, <laughs> even if you directly contact me. Uh, but anyway, our, our homeboy here uh, that will be our special guest tonight had been talking with Jiggy Fresh about getting a ride as we passed through the motherfucking 219 on the way to the Forge for Fury Fest this yes. year. He saw the Weekly Week of Web Show, me and Matt Murderous ran it down and told you guys all the cool shit that happened, and it is some of my favorite memories of this year. <laughs> Fuck um, yeah, man. All around, we were super hyped for Fearless Red Fury to come yeah, yeah. out. Uh, so for them to do a show, and then we hype hoping that Ouija Mac would be there, and then Ouija Mac was on the motherfucking thing. And 
the day of, or the day before, or the week of, or, or some shit, uh, however long, uh, our homeboy, special guest of the evening, Pogler, had uh, got a hold of my fucking Jiggy Fresh and, you know, asked if we could provide him a ride. Dude, like, again, I'm a weird motherfucker. This might seem like I'm not, or it might seem like I am, but I was like, I don't know. We know this guy? What do we gotta do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had a couple of vouchers. We know that, you know, I've seen them all. Wow. I've seen wow. him all over online, you know what I'm saying? saying? I know. He does that every fucking time. Who the fuck every fuck? fucking time! Uh, uh, he's, he's, uh... God! I've seen him post everywhere. I've seen a lot of, like, a, a lot of people I know down at uh, Juggalo Weekend uh, in New Orleans, and his name was popping up all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, we picked this, we picked our, our homie up, dude, and it ended fuck up, yeah. uh, it ended up being just some wild-ass shit, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we're just gonna bring this motherfucker out. What motherfucker? Poglarito? Ow! Is that what you call him? Dorito. <laughs> Dorito burrito? Dorito Poglarito. Pogler, uh, motherfucking the Pogler. Hashtag that. Uh, Hashtag Pogler. That's Dorito. what I would see everywhere. Fucking Pogler, Pogler or the Pogler and this motherfucker, you know Dorito. what I'm saying? Uh, so I guess we're going to bring this motherfucker out right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, for the first in, no, the second in-house guest, uh, the Weekly Weekly Web Show, motherfucking, uh, we bring you motherfucking Pogler. Pogler. So you want to slap slide in here or Remember, this is leaving. He leaving? Yeah, he's gonna have to do one of those things. Remember the last time? <laughs> I'm gonna die. He's, he's dying. No, he's not gonna die. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, but yeah. So we'll probably do like y'all? some weird fucking. Cool I feel like Bobby Blaze right now. I'm like in the middle. I got. Ah. I gotta talk more and you shit. Want, you want to switch? Yeah, no, you do. Okay. All right, cool. You got it. You carry it then. Uh, yeah, it yeah, actually yeah. works because you're the. the um, look, um, does he look the, nice this though? This is a um, <laughs> um, 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 this is Pogler. Yeah. Um, um, sweater, sweater. Sweater gang! No, I'm just playing. But yeah, shout out, man, for real. Uh, awesome real shit, though. Like, for real, uh, the Fury Fest. Pog Lurito hit us up, man. Uh, and he swooped me up, you know, blah, blah, blah. Love to kick it with you guys, blah, blah, Hey, tell me I wasn't like, who's this dude, though, bro? Yeah, it, it was kind of like that, because, like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey, hey no, no bullshit. That kinda, makes the story you know, better, though. It, it does, it does and, and, and it makes the story better, because it was like, uh, yeah, you know, dudes from the 219, fuck, hey, fuck it, let's pick him up. Yeah. So we met him, you know what I'm saying, uh, going down the highway on our way there, whatever, we picked him up, uh, met him at the little gas station, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Picked him <laughs> up. Picked him up at the gas station. Picked him up at the gas station. Gas station. Gas station, gas station, whatever, and, 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 and G. So, uh, but, I mean, the thing was, like, we yeah. talked to him right before that, like, right before Fury Fest hit, it was like, hey, man, I know all these places. I've been here, blah, 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 blah. I'm right here, you know. I'll meet you guys up if you guys can give me a ride. Like, all right, bet, cool. We picked them up, and the shit was just, it was on and popping since then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we clicked right Dude, away. Yep. It ended uh, up being how we clicked, though, was just so fucked up, you know what I'm saying? And, like, and, uh, and even even being there, though, like, like uh... <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead. Look, look, dude. Uh, how fucked up it is, though, man. That here to me doing this like weekly good web show type shit. Right. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know, who didn't watch the weekly good web show, um, as as weird as the world is, it ended up being that as we're we're, we're driving <laughs> out there and we're talking about the gathering, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was like basically like. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you know. I think a couple, weeks, a couple weeks away. Yeah, like, that's you know, what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. Talking about how, you know, he's not going to be able to stay the whole gathering. You know what I'm saying? It was your brother. My brother's uh, wedding. Uh, brother's yeah, wedding. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you know. I was like, oh, man, that's wild. You know, my cousin's getting married at the same time, you know. But, like, we're not, like, same day. Close, you know, same, like, same day. Same day. Yeah, same day. It's like, you know, we're not real close. So, you know, it's 20th annual gathering. I had already had that plan oh, for going yeah. to the gathering. It cut. Oh, yeah, I know we cut there. Um, so it really didn't even come until that whole night passed that we ended up finding out that uh, my cousin was married his brother. And shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, so, I, got a, I got a phone call from my brother. Uh, he's like, hey, uh, who's in the... It was us four yeah. and Ouija. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my brother's <laughs> like, who's that guy on the right side of the picture? And I said, oh, that's my boy Bobby Blaze. Yeah. And he's like, hmm... That's interesting. <laughs> that's my wife's cousin. <laughs> so oh, yeah, that's dude. the shit. It, it, awesome. it, 
turned out that we're about to be family. Yeah, dude. Uh, fam, family fam, fam, fam bro. Like, fam fam, like real fam fam. <laughs> dude, that's what's fucking wild as fuck, man. But I mean, small, hey, world. small fucking world. Just the whole, the whole meeting, though, like, dude, like, it, it was tight to finally, you know what I'm saying, like, to click up with him. Well, we clicked up with someone that, like, really, that, like, we met doing this motherfucking weekly yeah, show we're right. streaming on Instagram. Like I whatever, said, it, it was dope fucking meeting uh, Native Pack, you know, Jackie and Yakima, yeah. uh, Big Head, or uh, Fat Head, and, yeah, and Kachi- I can't say it again. Uh, Kachina, Fathead, Yakima, all them guys. We only got to k- uh, link up with Pogler just a little bit at the motherfucking gathering. Yeah, uh, yeah. but he was definitely going to it. because I had to go to yeah. the wedding. Yeah, he had to go to the yeah. wedding. But I mean, I mean, just just that experience though, like like finally meeting the old school ninja, but then meeting the homie that's, that's yeah. right here where we've been at all yeah. this time, and and even to find out like today yeah. when I was talking, he was like, "Bro, when he pulled up to my crib, he was like, hey, my brother lives like.'" Right over the train tracks on Center Center Ave or Center, you know, whatever yeah. it is, you know, like, he's like, how close to buy a blaze from him? Like, bro, right, right down here. the fucking train right. tracks, bro. Like, we could walk the train tracks and be up by a blaze house in two minutes walking. The drive here is my, my parents mean, live on yeah. the block on the opposite side of Center. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, it was an 18 minute drive out yeah. here. I mean, we no, live yeah, that yeah, close, close to yeah. each other. And it, it is crazy. Bro. And it's crazy that we never cross paths right. because yeah. you have to understand I've been, do, I did band stuff for yeah. 15 years of my yeah. life. Um, you know, I had, I've been in ICP since I was eight years old. Um, oh, yeah. So the fact that we never cross paths, and yeah. I know you did music stuff too yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that we never cross paths yeah, and the two one nine is crazy. crazy. It's it blows yeah, my yeah. mind. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, I, I like you said yeah. that that is a highlight of our year. We got we got our man, the special guest house yeah, tonight, man. And, oh, and because dope, that's like, a fucking memory that's forever, dude. Yeah, like bro, no matter what, like. I mean, uh, I mean, he's married to my cousin, and hopefully me and my cousin will have, like, you know, like, a close right, relationship dude. over yeah, this right. because of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> that's, like, just some cool shit to oh, yeah. know that, like, like we're fam fam, you know what I'm saying? Fam fam. We fam, end up fam, having fam. to go through some same shit, you know, this Recently. year together, yeah. you know, as as fam fam, and, like, to, to go there and, like, and then you see, like, a juggalo homie, too, dude, it is, like, just, like... We're like, I don't know, it's that center of fucking balance in the world. It is, bro. That's what it is, dude. We're talking about about the whole thing about the gathering. For sure, yeah. Like like, uh, Webmaster Baker said, the synchronicity, bro. Synchronicity was all around. Synchronicity and all that shit is just like... Yeah, the synergy, yeah, everything yeah. just came together, bro. It was like, you know what I'm saying? We finally Dude, got... To be in this car, and we tell this story, and then the next day... We find like, oh, out. Yeah, like, yeah, right. we're bro, fam, fam, bro. When he hit me yeah, up, he was like, bro, was the like... First, your brother is very, That's the wedding, yeah, yeah that I was about, supposed to be going to. Pogler hit me up, yeah. telling me about it, and he was like, bro, he's like, Bobby Blaze's mind's going to be blown. I'm like, what are you talking <laughs> about? He was, like, <laughs> he was like, bro, he's like, yeah. my brother is marrying his cousin. I'm like, what? So I like, I hit Bobby, we're like, bro, that wedding pilot's home I'm missing the gathering for? His brother's man, your cousin, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, it yeah. was crazy, bro. And, oh, dude. But and I then, mean, for real, I look at this fucking the invitation to the wedding. I'm like, oh yeah, that's definitely Bogler's <laughs> brother. Connor McGregor has motherfucker. The funny thing uh, yeah. is, you mentioned earlier. Yeah. You said you were a little sketchy about picking me up. Yeah. Oh. Well, I was sketchy oh, about sure. oh, yeah. with them. I bet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to understand where we're from. Yeah, <laughs> you got to be sketchy. You got to be yeah. sketchy. But um, so, I actually hit up. Uh, I'm friends with like King B and Camp Cactus. Those are yeah, my yeah. people. Yeah, and I had mentioned in, King B fucked with us from a long time ago. Right, I heard it. From, the King B. From, from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. King B used um, to fuck with us hard, man. We have a chat together, and I was saying how I was gonna meet up with these random jugglos that I met over <laughs> Instagram yeah. that live by me, and B reassured me that yeah. these dudes oh, yeah. were oh, yeah. the nicest guys. King B's so, fucking shit. Yeah. If you're gonna King fuck B. with some people out here, I mean, that's cool to know that there are people that will tell you that, hey, yeah, yeah we got you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, for the most part, we did. Love, right? The night ended up being adventurous as fuck. It was awesome. You know Tyler passed out. We lost keys. <laughs> we lost keys. Almost Tyler fought a whole security team. We almost, Bro, fought. we almost fought that whole security we all, team. Hey, I thought I'm skinny as hell. Somebody. Hey, listen, listen. I'm a little fucking skinny fucking... Look, dude. The adrenaline was already <laughs> pumping that whole night, though, bro. But yeah, the adrenaline... wanted to fight everybody the whole I night. I wanted to fight everybody that whole night, but... Yeah, I'm the only one that got to fight like, somebody the whole night. Yeah, he did. Which which is, awesome. Awesome. Which is and then Chiki awesome. was mad about it the whole night. I was, I was so mad. Somebody, I was know? super I mad. That. But then, after he punched somebody, there was another somebody, with one of our homies, that kind of was trying to get shitty with me. I didn't know who the fuck he was, but whatever. But I mean, just that G- whole night. G- G- you said to scrap though, for sure. I was just trying to scrap. Jiggy's bad. And that's like how you're saying that too about how you like, you know, you were kind of, you know, like, hey, you got to feel out who you're riding with. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then here, 
I end up fucking, we end up just going crazy, uh, fucking, hey. uh, I punch Together. some guy at, at fucking, Together. yeah, we mean yeah. you fucking, punch him and then fucking him. regulate some dude who was starting shit with Ouija that ended up being a legendary story that fucking, like, killed me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, That'll uh, be a memory for hey, me so, forever. I'm just gonna say, Ouija told that story. Ouija told that story at, at the gathering. Yeah. He told Tear, uh, uh Tear, Dude, there was like a fucking circle of people standing around. You see my shock fix, because I did it. No, no, listen, really? listen. No. You didn't you, notice? No. So at the gathering, when all this shit happened, I was at the gathering. This is the the last day of the gathering. Yeah, this is the last last day. day. This is right before. I don't know if you hold this whole hold this heard heard this this whole story. story. Yeah. Uh, So when we saw Ouija that night, he like stopped what he was doing to come talk to me. He gave me this hug and was like, "Hey, dude, I know you missed my set. Da da da. What day did you guys get here? We talked or whatever. He's like, "Hey, look, I gotta take this picture with these people. I went and fucking got Jiggy." Then I talked to Clownus. I made Clownus yeah. laugh. I told Clownus a joke yeah. and made Clownus bro, laugh. Joke. You can pull that off. Dude, dude, bro, dude. Bro, so fucking <laughs> my webmaster Baker's trying to take a fucking picture using the iPhone, but can't fucking do it. And I'm telling fucking Clownus, I'm like, dude, my boy went to Must fucking be an Android user. He, oh. <laughs> went to Full Sail University, fucking million dollars in debt, worked on fucking Pirates of the Caribbean, but yeah. can't work a fucking flash on an iPhone, you know what I'm saying? And he ended up taking this picture, perfect timing, Columbus is like, ah! Like so either, laughing, he, bro. either he was fucking with me or he, he left or whatever. But we ended up talking to Luigi and uh he he like gath like there was people who were like waiting to Dude. take his picture. Tear dear. Hey, bro, some listen, random ninjas, he, my homies. There, there was a basically a fucking uh, line. No, yeah, yeah, but there, there was these two kind of... It was funny. Some, I, some, I, I, some, I, some dirty I, ninjas. I don't want to talk. Right. Some, they were nerdy yeah, ninjas. Yeah. Nerdy ninjas, you know? Nerdy ninjas, we love. We're nerdy but ninjas. But he was like... Look, we're doing YouTube videos. Dude, whole boy, whole boy in the fucking background was like... He's like, hey, just go get your picture. Go take your time. with He's like, no, man, I don't want to bother them. It looks like they're talking business. Yeah. And we're like... We're like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, business. So, uh... It, in yeah, that time, right. everyone's like standing around. He's like, "Oh, hey, hey, baby, sucking a little tear deer." And he's yeah. like, uh, Bam, yeah. "This is the guy that fucking the dude crumbled this dude's That's jaw right. at Fury Fest." He oh, told the God. story, bro. I, was, I, was like, bro. I, 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 I didn't hit that guy that hard. Mid punch, I realized that I have a fucking family at home and didn't kill the guy, <laughs> so I pulled my punch. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, and didn't knock the guy out because I was like, "Damn!" Uh, later, later on, we almost fought security anyway, so I should have just yeah. fucking killed the guy. Bro. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, but the way that we well, should call it, for him at the 20th annual gathering of the Juggalos, throughout the atmosphere, Dude, yeah, in front of all it. those people, it was, it was, and he it told the story, he's like, yeah, yeah he's, this is the guy it was that Tarder, fucking crumbled you know, this dude's jaw, if you yeah. told the whole story, Tarder, everybody was there, bro, shit. No. No. Oh, and, and, and yeah. it just I, didn't, I didn't know this, you're blowing my fucking mind, there's a bit of two, two nerdy dudes in the back, we're like, no, 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 don't. It looks like he's talking business, though. Oh, we'll man. just wait. Like, Dude, it was, it was I don't want to say nerdy jugglers. So I don't want to be a disrespectful. That's when we got those crazy ass pictures with fucking But, Luigi that but I'm saying, like, the, you can hear dudes in the background, like, no, 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 let's just wait. It looks like he's they're talking business. Right now. They're, they're dealing with clients right now. They're dealing with clients. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're dealing with clients. Like, shit. Yeah. So that's when, yeah. That, dude, for yeah, real. Yeah. That was at one point, dude, like, like we don't like, because, like, we. It, it goes into the whole shit, and if we keep saying we don't do this for fucking this or whatever, we don't. It kind of sounds like we do. We so don't. we <laughs> said, I don't want to keep saying that. But the, when Ouija grabbed me and my fucking brother around the shoulder and fucking spit some game on us that night, it was the coolest shit ever. Yeah, bro. That's some of my favorite memories. That but that shit. wouldn't have happened. That would not have happened if fucking Pagler wouldn't have gave me the assist. Fucking check this motherfucker off, and I fucking gave him a little schnapp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, hey, you know, give him a little. And the top, the top. <laughs> but that was, was it. I pulled. Hey. My, oh shit! Uh, I pulled. My, oh, that's fine. Leave it there. Leave it there. That's fine. Uh, that looks perfect. Cool. Looks cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but but to top that off, yeah. Pogler came out. I was smoking a cigarette. And he came outside. I was like, hey. Me and Bobby just snubbed his mother. Like, <laughs> without me? Like, I was so happy. He I was, was so upset that I just wanted to hit somebody in my fucking self. All night you were like that. I was so mad. It was. It hey, but then, and that led then, up to the end of the night that we end up fucking almost fighting security. No, Fuck that, that, that yeah. wasn't just it. We but, almost fight fucking security then. Fuck and fuck then I lose my keys. And that's the only time of the oh, whole yeah. night. The only oh, time shit. of the whole... Just leave it there. Just leave it there. Play it where it lies. Play it where it lies. We gave it a little bit. It's immersive. The only time of that night that I was like, 
Yeah, this motherfucker's never hanging out with us again. Is once we lost the keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? We lost the keys. <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> I was like, hey, shit. Like, All that other shit was cool. Listen. But then we lost the keys. We lost the keys. <laughs> yeah. I'm walking we lost the back keys. to the venue, right? <laughs> yeah. But we're in a, po- we're in a parking garage. Venue. We're in a parking garage and a hair is in pocket. We're on the floor next to the car like this. Hey, you gotta, you gotta we can't go I back because so we good, just bro. almost fought eight security guards hey, in front of the place. Think about bro. it. I drank roadies on the way yeah. there. Oh, yeah. no yeah. shit, I know. Yeah. I probably drank 12, 16 oh, ounces oh, at all time. Oh, yeah. I do, hey, you being slumped, no yeah, not, not right. me. Yeah. The only thing that I thought, I was like, damn, this motherfucker's probably like, babe, Irresponsible. never never hanging out with these motherfuckers. I'm not hanging out with these guys. Punch some guys. Fucking crazy. Fucking fought a security team, lost his keys. Fuck these guys. Never hang out again. Hey, you get what you get. <laughs> you met him on Instagram. You get what you get. You know what I'm saying? Being in bands all what? those years. Yeah, yeah, bro. Being in bands all those years, this is shit I'm used to. But I'm saying. Yeah, this is like my home. That's like, why then after that, we're fam Woo. fam. Yeah, fam fam. Oh, and, and look, dude, like. The whole shit was Like you said, we've been bro. waiting for this interview for 35 years now. 35 years. that's what it feels like. I'm in actually this one 60 year, something now. In this one year, I fucking feel like, you know, fucking yeah. Poglarito, Pogler, this motherfucking uh, yeah. Devin, if I'm allowed to say your name yeah, live. That's fine. fine. That's fine. Is. Fam, fam, fucking fam, fam. You fam, know what I'm saying? Bro. So it's like, fam, fam. tell these stories yeah. live with your motherfucking yeah. This motherfucker, so. hey. He was like, come to your house, kind of blah, blah. Hey, just come to my house. We'll hit the liquor store. Me and him at the liquor store together before we came here. He made us late. He had to apologize to the boss. But. Sorry, boss. We're here. Boss. Scheduled on time. I have this video. Get it out by Christmas, bro. I'm like Santa Claus in this bitch. I'm about to throw this to the L's. Let them chop this video. But yeah, straight up though, like yeah, that that for sure was a a, a definite moment of uh, twenty nineteen. Fuck yeah, dude! Sometimes you gotta launch people into your boy so dude. you can just knock yeah. them out. But I, I was super mad Shit when Pogner told me he came out like, "Hey, bro, Bobby just hit this motherfucker." I'm like, what? Hey, you guys, you guys, I've been wanting him motherfuckers all night. Some of you guys might not have seen it. The old, the old Dave Chappelle shit. I remember when the keeping the real goes wrong type shit. And for real, as I'm throwing this punch, I was like. Nah, I probably shouldn't do this, dude. And, like, he's drunk as fuck. And I gave him that check. It was kind of just like a check. But the way that Ouija told it, and he was like, man. We just like, grumbled his jaw. Grumbled his jaw. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, you know. It was not Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, hey, man, I feel like the disrespect that he showed him in general, yeah, that was well deserved. And see, I didn't even know exactly what had happened until oh, I could hear it. Out. Yeah. I don't. I really could hear it. I just see that something was going on, and I saw. All I know is that Bobby came, came out the smoke square and was like, "Hey, Bobby, just come." I hit it. Man, yeah, you were right there though. So I was right. I was right next to Ouija. This guy randomly walks up and he's like, "Hey, can I tell you something?" Ouija's like, "Yeah," and then. I don't know the exact wording, yeah. but whatever he said, Ouija was like, get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. And I, as soon as I seen him say that, yeah. I grabbed the dude by the back of the shirt and I launched him. Yeah. And somehow Bobby just seen it and what? See, and then he told the story then too. The guy came up to him and said like, you know, yeah, you fucking some... suck or some shit. Yeah. Why the fuck? Yeah, and so yeah like, uh, like, yeah, man, get the fuck away from me. And can like, I tell you a story? Oh, your music fucking sucks something or something like that. Like yeah, that. Some yeah. Some yeah. And it was like yeah, disrespectful. Like it really like, after it was done, I didn't go over to Ouija and go, yeah, hey, shoot it. Dude, it was until, like, you know. We, he dapped us later yeah, in the night for like, doing yeah, that yeah, for and him. And nothing to, like, you know. It was, just, it was out just of respect. The, just the way that the year plan uh, panned out. And it was, oh, like, yeah. some shit that set up before that. Mm-hmm. But if that night wouldn't have happened, it wouldn't have been as cool of a story. And that definitely, again, like I said, wouldn't have happened for you. Merry fucking Christmas, bro. Merry fucking Christmas. Happy fucking New Year, bro. All this cool shit, dude. Like. That was the longest question of the week segment we'll there probably was. ever have in the world. <laughs> but that is the shit. Like this year end, we like just want to talk shit. Ouija, Ouija tops off we'll 2019. And we'll then our special Ouija. guest and ended up being like, like a cherry on, a, a poggler on top. A fucking um, white claw so grabbed that cherry on top. We had white claws. We were supposed to have white claws in the fucking in the ice bucket next to the cherry. If you know me, you know me. Now we know. Poggler rock. Now we know. Poggler rock. Now we know. Right? Yeah, I'm saying, right. And now the writer will be reinterpreted. You heard of hog rock? It's hog <laughs> it's rock. Hog rock. But just, I mean, just the whole the whole situation in general, like you said, man. Like, probably be a fan, fam. Bobby Blaze. Wow. And then to him, to, to him coming out to me today and be like, "Hey, bro, my brother lives like over the train tracks from you." It's at two one nine love. Hey, you know I'm out. Saying? I'm out here all the fucking time, right down the street from you and Bobby Blaze. Take that zero. What's that say? Uh-huh. Two one. I don't have nothing in there. I have a drip drop. 
But anyway. Oh. Yeah, my boy, a fat head. Fat head. Yeah, you guys, but, uh, you guys definitely made my ear. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. being you. a juggalo from this from this area, yeah. there's not a whole lot of us here anymore. Not anymore. Uh, not anymore. When I, when we, we are like, growing. Yeah, yeah. We're all growing. Everybody's growing. We are bro. like a dying breed. We're growing. Real. We are. Because we're like, real, like when we were younger, like... like there was like, all over yeah. this area. When me and Bobby Blaze grew up, like, all our homies before like he moved out here. Yeah, when we were all living in Lake Station, bro, we were, we were literally within get a, a get, block get, of get each other. One. We, were li- we were all literally within... What five minutes of each other? Yeah, yeah. You, JL, Mo, all I'm, I'm yeah. Warren, Sturdy, me, all off twenty fifth, Cracker off twenty fifth, Frankie. All off, they all lived off sublets off yeah. the main. Artery Frankie and PJ, town. whatever, cool lived right off of fucking. Our kids these days don't have that kind of luxury. They, they don't. No, know. and you can't but, really right. just go out and hang out and, in the and neighborhood. And the whole thing was yeah. like, dude, like, like. So it is though. How, it how, is, how dude, you're saying, like, nice. you know, is to meet somebody. From the region, yes, I do. That you know, and all these other years of juggling, <laughs> juggling. We did Ooh, that, that, is Ooh, that is pretty good. That's, pretty good. that's even better than this mm, one. I like this. Oh, I yeah, like that. Super, I like that Christmas, fat head is good. Super Christmas tasty. Oh, hell yeah. Super spicy. Yeah, but uh, you know, I'm glad that you were able to come in and talk about it, dude. And I hope that we hell see yeah. you more often. I know, like, yeah, you know, sure. because, honestly, because you would have been part of that, and it would have been like. The ultimate shit. We had such Can I a explain why there. I didn't go to that? Yeah, yeah for sure. We, I mean, we, we told a lot of people because yeah. we talked on a web show about it then too. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. But yeah, go ahead and let Wicked know. Weekends. Wicked Weekends bro, was rough it was for so, me. It was so dope, dude. Yeah, it, I seriously wanted to go more than anything. Yeah. Like they had previously said tonight, Ouija for me over the last few years has reignited a lot of my Juggalo's. Juggalo life. Yeah. It's, a kind it's like of giving me week, new uh, light. Yeah, team MUJ well, and the new web show, you know. Is if, you, if you know me, Juggalo Weekend, uh, seeing Ouija at uh, Juggalo Weekend, he snapped. I loved it. I was, you know, yeah. it was amazing. Um, I had seen him the first time at the jug, uh, at the gathering, yeah. not this past year, the year before. Year before. Um, I missed his set because I only got to go two days and uh, because of work. And he played a secret set yeah, at one of the uh, party tents at like two in the morning. Yeah, right. And he's putting the mic in my face and stuff. Uh, that to me, yeah. you know, being in bands, doing that to people is it's, one thing. Oh, yeah. But having a band do it to you is, oh, yeah. or an artist in right. general. And then fucking getting super high. And I, yeah. I mean, Ghost, when Ghost came out, that, I was like, this guy's, he's, he's yeah. this is the next big thing for yeah, psychopathic. Yeah, bro. And, and, and then this past year, you know, it's been even more for yeah. me. At, so yeah. Wicked Weekends being here oh, at man, home so and not being able to go yeah. really broke my heart. Yeah. I had a knee injury at the time. I had a baseball size yeah. um, sack of fluid. I know it sounds uh, fucking weird, uh, but I could barely bend my leg. Dude, and the doctor suggested sucks, not going. Yeah, oh yeah, dude. Broke my fucking heart. I would have pushed you in a wheelchair. Yeah, Dude, so I would just set you on a chair. Ten, yeah, we well, could have put me in a wheelchair. Because there was chairs there too. There, was there? There was mad seats. See, I didn't know this. There's a theater prior they had a bunch to of chairs. That. Man, I'm telling you, if like oh, when I say that was one of my favorite things, I I got the dot dot dots because it could have been so much explanation on how dope uh, Wicked Weekends were. Wicked, Wicked, and I mean, the whole thing is because like I had a theme of my my a lot of my memories this year, you know, were the squad that were in the house tonight. Right. Know? And oh, Wicked Weekends, like for real. Uh, Pogler would have been the cherry on top because we said it in the week. Uh, we said it uh, hyping up the weekly with the web show. We're like, yeah. we figured that Pogler would come out here. We figured you'd be out here, and mm-hmm. then you would just roll with us the rest of that day. Yeah, I wanted. We to. all met up here, and then we just like really linked up the rest of the well, night. Yeah, you know, so, yeah. The, the whole thing, like, dude, like we clicked up super stupid hard for yeah, I can't get it. Oh, for sure. Like when I yeah, seen no, all you guys' stuff, no, I was saying, paying attention. Team MJ was here. We had James Fien, uh, Pink Malenko. You know, Jordan was here. Yeah, the house was full of like, do you uh, like, yeah, like, our homie, our everything homegirl, played out that weekend so dope. So like, that is everybody one of my favorite through, weekends of the and, and, yeah, uh, year. That was definitely, and then yeah. even, even the sweets, yeah. finally after, we haven't seen, seen our sweet. homie sweets from Sweets said he's got year. openings in the beginning of the year. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, no. Oh, that's what Let's I said! Say, yeah, that's what I said! Get the fuck out of here. But, uh, we'll see. But we'll our see. homie Aaron Sweets, man, he's got he's got a little studio. We'll little, do another, we'll do a weekly web show from there. So hopefully, we hopefully we can link, see, link up bro. with Sweets and do the we can do uh, weekly, weekly web show from there because uh, Homeboy's got a dope little studio. Um, but yeah, Fury Fest, I mean, like I said. Kicking it with Pogler, yeah. I mean, before that, and then the Wicked Weekends, finally kicking it with Jordan. And, Did you guys run into anybody, like, at 
Wicked Weekends besides Ouija? Like, because right. Violent J, um, no, Fago Warrior, no, my up, buddy on Twitter. No, he, we ran into Fago Warrior, though. Yeah, we're in Fago Warrior. And see, I was doing fucking Sober October, and I, I, I kept telling Jiggy, I was like, everybody that I see who doesn't know is going to try to buy me a beer. Yeah. Yes. Fago Warrior or something. I knew Oh, it. my God, my guy. Hey, <laughs> wait, hey, what are you drinking? He's boy. like, I'm buying. I was like, I know, man. I was like, Sober October. He's like, ah, yeah, yeah that's cool, man. Hey, buddy, hey, good luck, bro. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, for yeah, him, though. Yeah, yeah. He stole green jello shit that I know. But yeah. Yeah. We can say that now because he gave it back. So. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but his yeah. girl yeah. was at the restaurant next yeah. door. There, Jay was eating Jay was eating there. there. Yeah. No paint. Shout, hey, hey, hanging out. Shout out to Bobby Blaze. Over. Over. Hey, over. I was yeah. going to say, shout out to Bobby Blaze for uh, Sober Eyes Over. Yeah, dude. He, hey, he fucking Damn, killed it. Damn, I did that this year, too. He did it this year, too. That was a highlight. Got to be a highlight of his year because you know what? Uh, Thank you guys. It was right around my birthday. That was hard, bro. And, October? And, and I, October? I, I wanted my man to drink with me. There's a party like, every weekend in October. October. <laughs> Listen, my man, my man stays so Even when I take my son to the fucking haunted houses, because it's right down the street right. from my sister's house, right. we walk. I drink a beer at least out of the way, you know what I'm my saying? Man, you know? My man held strong. Yeah. He fucking uh, drove me and the girl home. Bro, I drove a car uh, full of fucked up people back from that. Hey, yeah, Everyone drove. was on like, Molly, fucking drug, like fucking yeah. alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Wild, shout, shout out to the brother Bobby Blaze for sober eyes over, man. Still, still, I'm not doing it next year. I'm going to no, do like sober. sober so do like sober well, like Cheers to that. Do like sober like sober like March or something. Oh no, March came back. Maybe like April. I so April. I, so April, bro. I couldn't do that shit. So April. I'm saying. I'll do 420. So you can smoke all you can. Oh, bro, 20. Hey, let's go. Are we doing uh, Denver 420, 2020? I got. No, I hey, got, hey, um, hey, dude, we got fucking Illinois and Michigan now. We my, bir- my birthday, uh, my, my weekend, right my here. weeks for vacation are like. Uh, right. <laughs> you, guys, hey, you guys missed the Denver bubble. July. Yes, not nah, man. You guys missed the Denver bubble, bro. I don't July, know. August, uh, and I break, like I break my streak of not, of going to Denver this year. Do you guys see? I, I'm uh, it's in my it's my Facebook memories of this year. Uh, of today, I was I did Black Christmas for the first time in in Denver, and my vest that oh, I wear yeah, that I normally beast? do, yeah. there's like five pins on it. Oh wow! I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it. I might have I, I might have. It's funny you say about story. breaking a streak because this year will be my. Out this coming up year yeah. will be the first year in three or four that I haven't been to New Orleans. Oh shit! Because Mike and Liz are getting married. Yeah. Camp Cac. This is all meeting yeah. in Florida for the wedding. Yeah. And it's right after Mardi Gras, yeah. and I always go to Mardi Gras. So Mardi Gras. yeah, dude, around that know, time too uh, for Buku Fest that's going on. Around right. Mardi Gras. I've never the been. I've never been, but Juggalo Weekend was actually right in the middle of. Yeah. Um, Mardi Gras season last yeah. year, so that was my Mardi Gras yeah. instead, you know, hey. and that was fucking awesome. A thousand yeah. juggalos marching on bourbon. Oh yeah, dude. See, that's, <laughs> see, that's something else I wanted to get into. While we had we scared, said, bro. I was not Five fucking was scared. scared bro. That's, the like, that, that's the narrative dude, we spun so it. that we didn't go, bro. New Orleans, you get jack new shit. Dude, I'm, bro, because I gotta take care of the fucking slump god wherever we go when he be trying to buy fucking, wow. fucking dope off motherfuckers in the alleyway. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have to wow. fuck my fuckers up. Bro. I don't smoke dope. No I, I, I illegally carry a gun any, anywhere I go, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what he would have been thinking. Bro, bro, you know bro, 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 bro. Hey, yeah. we do what we do. You know what I'm saying? It'll work out. Hey, but uh, this Holly Jolly fucking But, business. like I was saying, before oh, we get completely off year. subject and we wrap this whole fucking segment up, it was super dope to have Pagel on the motherfucking Weekly Week Web Show. We hope it becomes a motherfucking regular thing. Bro, Hell yeah. we got to do the fucking... We're about to do it right now. Ooh. So, Pagel Rito, man. Merry Thank Christmas, you guys Happy New Year. Thank, Thank you guys for having me on. Thank you for being parts of our fucking year. You guys my brother. And guess what time is next? My It's time that everyone's been fucking waiting for. It's time. Everyone's been waiting for it. I'm fucking nervous. Who did guys. the right thing? Subscribe and tag us in a fucking picture. Woo! So we got three winners, right? We got three winners. Pagler, stop. stop. We're gonna fuck all this up. No, we got three Pagler. winners, right? Yeah, Pagler's gonna come draw one. I was gonna draw one. I thought we were gonna draw one. Draw and you and me. Oh, it's all us, right? Yeah, let's do it. Man, murder us, draw one. Don't say who it is yet. Don't say Just who. grab one. This is so exciting. I know. <laughs> All right, man, murder us. Got I'm one. To grab one. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh. Bobby oh, Blue. Oh, there we go. Oh, that one just gonna jump one, out. <laughs> Bobby Blaze. <laughs> Didn't that happen last year too? It did. It just popped out. And we out just like picked that one. We picked He's like, pick me. We were like, nope. One. Get back right, in there. for me. 
Hey, sorry about that. Just keep outside straight. Ho, 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 where we at though? He's like, where are we at though? Where we at though? All right. <laughs> We're probably uh-huh. the big battler on purpose. Was there 17 battlers in there? I got one. I got one. Who you got? Ready? Man, Vernus, you go first. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, this is so cool. And the winners <laughs> of the three sauced up stocking stuff. First, first, first. Producers, producers, producers. 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 Can you get this on this motherfucking uh, shout out to, um, on the, the main camera up there? Shout out to, shout out to motherfucking Ninja. up here. Shout out to motherfucking Go, Go Green Ninja, Ninja Boogie Three One Three, and motherfucking Homie Pagler, bro. bro. How the dude? That is rigged, bro. Hey, he shouldn't even be able to win, bro. All right. That's your band, bro. Man. But hey, he got it though. I mean, no, for real, he won, bro. Everybody, you guys saw that. Look, there's other names in there. Y'all saw it. Y'all saw it. We're just fucking with you guys. It's carnival magic. It is, bro. It's carnival carnival magic. Yo. There was fucking eight entries. Thanks to everybody who fucking oh, entered. Yeah. Much more fucking luck. Shout Most of the time, though, really, in this whole thing, somebody who was already won was gonna win. Because Katrina Dallas already won. Yeah. Go Green Ninja and didn't Boogie already win? Boogie didn't win yet. Who won the motherfucking uh, hoodie? Uh, Tater. Okay, bet. Tater All right. won the hoodie. Bet. All right, so, okay. So we've been fucking sauce them up, up all year. Shout out to Go Green hey, Ninja. Hey, these shout stockings. Shout out to Go uh, Boogie. It's these so, stockings hey, are about to be Green so dope. Go Green Ninja's homeboy. Yep. So they're, they're tight. So both of y'all get a socket. And a homie over here, special right. guest. Hey. Y'all seen him on the weekly Bro. weekend web show. You gotta see him on the Fury are Fest sick shit. as fuck. Oh, bro, it's sick about to go down. Sick fuck. as fuck, bro. But we can't even fucking... Pilot thinks he's leaving with the fucking... I can't believe he ain't. Oh, hey. yeah, he can't now. He's gonna no get bullshit. mailed because what hey. we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the shit together. No we, need to, we, need, we, need, we need to get it tomorrow. We need to mail it out. Like, Pilot's getting like, tomorrow or something. cold and shit. Yeah, right? We're gonna have to blindfold his ass. We need like, to drop all the it bullshit. in the mailbox. Hey, but we're gonna have to do. We're gonna lay out all this cool ass, bro. Like, if you guys I got all this shit at the crib. We're gonna just do. We're just gonna do one stacking, 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 and then we're just gonna keep picking until 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 everything's done. So someone might. So one of you. Oh, leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it back there. One of you is gonna get a fucking. It dude, it was like all the way over. That was too far. One of you is gonna get a super fu- Bro, fresh ass fucking. Everybody's poster. getting some super sauce. Hey, but y'all, right? like, it's, yeah, cool. everybody getting sauced up. Hey, actually, we just found three posters that everybody's getting now. Three? Yeah. Oh, let's see that one's lame. Dick, dude, it's gone. They're, uh. It's oh, look at that. We, we have uh, some uh, yeah, part, uh, Kung Fu Vampire posters that we're just throwing in there that we were given from Kung Fu Vampire for Matt Murray's helping uh, load, load up the van. Um, but man, it's super, yeah. it's super oh, soft stuff. I'm, I'm ready to see, like, I know Jiggy's got a bunch of, just leave, oh. bro, I can't, I'm ready to see what Jiggy's gonna throw on this motherfucking thing though too, because I know it's gonna be sauced up, he's got some fucking, do you thing, wanna like, duct tape that motherfucking, no, just leave that shit it's there, almost oh, yeah. it's almost over, it's almost over, they should've just let it fall, what I'm just saying, it was faced to the fucking floor, I got the duct tape, well, anyway, it's too late, uh, sauce up sacking steppers, again, thank you for everybody who joined, hell yeah, um, it was dope as fuck. We did, uh, what, two giveaways? Three giveaways this year? About three of them. This will be the third one this year. Tree Fitty. On top of uh, the Fearless Red Fury Fellowship for Free Flavor and the Gutter Gang Gary Way Thank Gathering you. giveaway. And, uh, and now Sauced Up Stocking Snappers. Ooh, hi. Uh, and yeah, all the way over the way. Family United Divided. Yeah. All the other gay shit that we say. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So, hey, man. Uh, it's cool as fuck, man. It's been an awesome year doing this again. Officially, our year begins in July because that's when we fucking gave Came birth back. to this monster again. Um, but here it is, just cool as fuck yeah. to do all this stuff with you guys again. And we appreciate everybody who's been fucking with us this so year. Thank you. Hell yeah. Even Let's go honest. super hard. Super hard. 2020. 2020. All 2020. Let's start vision. this new decade off. With us just going fucking Quit. just being the dominators. And like we said, dominators dominate. Uh definitely yeah, gonna link up with uh Carnival Spirits, Speed Clout, the Bender Boys. Weekly, Everybody showed us love, show. like I said, uh weekend weekly the, web show this, this, road this, tour. Hell yeah. This fucking couple weekends was pretty dope. And like I said, uh the homie showed us love, the Bender Boys, um uh, Carnival Spirits. Fucking Mikey Sears. Everybody that just came together 
And the love was super dope, bro. Like, before yeah. me and Bobby Blaze even tuned in, and man, Murderous even came in for a little bit. Uh, tuned into that fucking live fucking stream, dude. It was like, we were getting blown up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, showing a lot of love. Still and uh, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So hey, shout so out we're to gonna do it. We're going to do it all next year. Dominate is dominate. Yeah. Double D's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're doing it all next year. We hope that fucking psychopathic or whoever the fuck sets up uh, us up with some good opportunities and some fucking like cool events that we Hell can go yeah. fucking hang out and meet more of you fucking juggalos that this has been super dope, man. We hope super that you guys dope. enjoyed our year-end fucking weekly web show that's easily over an hour of us just easily. fucking talking some bullshit. I don't know how long we've been. Shout out to all of our winners of this year's fucking sauced up stocking stuffers and Tater mm. from the motherfucking Gutter Gang Gateway mm. Gathering Giveaway and whoever the fuck won uh, Fearless Fed Furious Fantastic Fellowship for Free Flavor. Go Green Ninja. Go Green Ninja, hell yeah. Hell right? yeah, yep. And he won the fuck again. Hey, you disqualified. Ooh. Yeah, no more. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Now, if you read the subtitles, no, it's going to be a little I'm going to just fuck out my child. Go Green Ninja, no, Boogie. Fr friends, family, or affiliates can everyone get this. Yeah, the next so we don't got to notify oh, Pogba. Pogba. He's here. Pogba. Yeah. Go Green Ninja, Boogie. You're disqualified too. Shout out to both of y'all. Show this fucking man love. Cancel. Shout out to fucking Carnival Spirits. Shout out to fucking Bender Boy. Shout out to fucking Speak Clout Podcast. Yeah, Shout out to everybody who fucks with Team MJ. Cool and game. made this fucking year a blast Fuck, for yeah. us. You know, everyone always um, says, man. Shout out uh, to my brothers, man. Bobby Blizzle, oh, man. Matt Murderous. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them guys for, you know what I'm saying? It was all a dream. And uh, it was all DCG kind, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it, it was all a bunch of shit talking. Uh, Jaggy Fresh. A.K.A. me when I'm super fucking it's, fucked up. It was all a dream. But it was all a dream. Like, straight up, like, it was just like... Hey, I said we're... it would never happen again, and here we are. It, fucking... it would never happen again, and then I oh, yeah. I was super drunk, hitting people up. They used to fuck with us back in the day. Everybody was like, yeah, 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 bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. And here we are, bringing it back, now, huh? and, and shit's popping. Hey, thank you for, yeah, for real. Shit's popping. I don't even know how so, fucking... Like, for real. Everyone's like, oh, man, you guys only get, like, you know... 20 views or some shit. Like, I'm like, yeah, isn't that weird that like 20 people actually watch yeah. this bullshit? Hey, up, like, <laughs> like, like, fuck, or fuck. five people watch hey, this shit a bunch of times. Care. I don't care if, if, if 25 people like it and 30 you dislike it. If you're fucking Dude, with that shit, like, that's what, it's like, dope, like, We've like, always said right, the whole thing fuck. is that I'm sitting here with you. I'm sitting here I'm with sitting my homeboy. I'm sitting here with our homies, guys. And like, this motherfucker I done known for fucking, I don't even know how long. I don't even know. We grew up on the same blocks in the same city. And we're doing this yeah. right now, though. You're like, and, and you know, just I've known him for, two, for so too long. Too fucking long. And now, like, our reasoning to get together... Is to fucking talk. Because we are so busy throughout our whole life. is just, let's, let's do this, man. So every weekend we get together, and somehow it's gotten better and better. We just fucking think everybody who's tuning in, whatever you guys want us to talk about, we'll probably make fun of before we talk about. But let's fucking do that shit here on the motherfucking Weekly Wicked Web Show. As for a fucking year end, it has been great is fuck man fuck, it has been yeah. so cool to do all these things with y'all again with y'all hell yeah hell yeah you know we're gonna just fucking keep trying to do i guess this whatever because now like you know there might be some demand for it <laughs> so uh we're gonna just hang around and uh do weekly weekly web shows we'll uh january where we might not because as you've seen we just dropped the razor review yeah. and we're gonna fucking drop the Walk to Resistance and Fred Fury Bye. year end review or year in review. Walk that like That'll drop the same day that Fred Fury dropped last year. Will be our review of Fearless Fred Fury. All right. A year later, a year retrospect. Yeah. You even said it marinate on it. Dude, I always just say we always just say bullshit, but they usually happen. So but it will happen. Do this shit. But hey, man. Overdue. Thank you, Pogler. Thank you, motherfucking Lotus Nixon behind the camera, fucking always just fucking oh, chiming yeah, in on some shit. Yeah. Fucking hey. thank Matt Murderous, thanks fucking Jiggy Fresh. Fucking Bobby Blaze, fucking, fucking Jiggy Fresh. Woo! Fucking this thank all of you for supporting us this motherfucking year. Ah. Instagram. Yeah. Woo! Y'all yeah. motherfuckers. Hey, yeah, that's oh, the dope shit. as fuck, man. Oh, shit. You're in spectacular. Oh, shit. We try to pre uh, keep bringing you new videos, new fucking Twitch, uh, Twitter. Fucking Everybody's fucking lights from you here, from y'all there. 
Everyone Happy Christmas, Christmas Hanukkah, Christmas, Hanukkah, Christmas, 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 Christmas,